I want to talk to you today and just encourage you in the name of Jesus. Because many times when you are physically tired, uh, you, you are also tired. It's like you, you also become spiritually tired. You become spiritually drained. Where, where you don't even have um, a feeling of going to church anymore. You don't even feel like praying anymore. And, 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 and you just don't feel like even going to, to Bible study or going for sale. Everything is, just seems to be dragging. Uh, and it, it can even go as far as ex, uh, affecting your relationship with the Lord. It goes as far as affecting everything in your life. If you have a family, it will probably affect your partner, it will probably um, affect your kids. And even at work, you might start slowing down, you might, uh, your boss might even talk to you and so forth. So I want to I wanna encourage you in the name of Jesus that it's okay to be tired, it's okay to feel exhaustion, it's okay to feel like, um, God, I'm not, I just don't see you anymore, I'm praying but I'm not uh, having a connection, I'm not seeing any breakthrough. I mean, it's not a sin. Um, to be in such a place. And I, I want to encourage you that uh, on this morning that uh, it is not the end. So, so I want to encourage you that um, you need to rest. It's okay for you to rest. Go and rest. But uh, I'm talking about the rest which the world does not provide, not the rest that your partner can provide, not the rest that the church can provide, not the rest that the government can provide, or the rest that NWR can provide. You go on a vacation, have a nice uh, time there. I'm not uh, uh, talking about that specific rest. I'm talking about the rest that is found in Matthew 28, verse 11. The rest in Jesus Christ. Because he said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden in light. As a Christian, as a born-again Christian, we have to rest in our Lord and Savior. We cannot seek rest anywhere else. We cannot seek rest from other stuff, from online, from YouTube videos. Um, from reading books, but we need to go back to the Lord. He is our creator. He knows us. He knows what we need. And you'll find that when you go back to the Lord, when you go back to Jesus Christ, there's a supernatural rest that He will give you that you are not able to ex explain. I mean, He's the one who gives peace uh, that is beyond any other understanding in any situation that you are. I cannot explain it for you. You, 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 and you cannot also fully comprehend how it happens, but just trust the Lord and go back to Jesus Christ and He will give you the rest that, that you will need. You'll be rejuvenated. Where you were slacking, all of a sudden you will no more be slacking, you know. All of a sudden you will have the spirit again. All of a sudden, all of a sudden you will have the, the courage to go back to church, to go back to prayer groups. All of a sudden you will have the energy to go and tell somebody about the Lord, to go and preach the word. All the fatigue that you had, all the exhaustion that you had, it will be removed in the name of Jesus because He cares and He loves you. That, that is His nature, that is who Jesus is. And lastly, you and I should go back on our knees and ask the Lord to restore to, restore to you and I the joy of salvation. Yet again, I don't know how it happens, but just trust the Lord. He is faithful. He will come through for you. He will remind you of how beautiful salvation is. For you to know that there may be pain in the night, but joy will come in the morning. For you to know that though you go through uh, um, fires, though you go through valleys, you go through storms and all of those stuff, salvation will never leave you. Salvation will be there at the end of the day. Though you go through trials and tribulations, one day God's going to wipe every tear away from our eyes. He's going to make everything new. And one day the Lord of salvation is going to come get you and I and we are going to go home where we will forever be um, at peace living with our Creator, where there's no more day, there's no more night, there's, there's, there's forever peace, there's forever happiness, there's beautifulness. The Bible says, what I and what ear has not had the things that the, the Lord has prepared for you and I. So I want to I encourage you and close off by saying that if you are tired, if you are feeling um, weary, if you are feeling sad or anything, go back to the Lord. He is faithful. He is here for you. And uh, the good part of it also, He has given you the Holy Spirit, our comforter, our guide, our friend.